wondering what's going on here. How am I levitating? No, no, no. It's not through Wingardium Leviosa or some other type of magic. It's through something even cooler. Something we call quantum levitation. So what is quantum levitation? Simply put, it's making an object hover in midair using only a magnet. We call this object a superconductor. You can think of a superconductor as a superhero. In normal conditions, a superconductor acts just like any other conductor, providing a bit of resistance to current flow as electrons collide with the material's positive ion lattice structures and cause vibrations. However, when the superconductor is cooled below a certain really low temperature, the transformation occurs. The vibrations have stopped and electrons are able to get through with zero resistance. Without any resistance, energy is never lost and the current flows forever. A great chunk of electricity that we generate today is lost because of the resistance in transmission wires. If we could somehow find a superconductive material that could reach zero resistance without needing to be cooled, we could build our power lines with it and save a lot of energy and money. So how can we make superconductors levitate? It's through something we call the Meissner effect. Let's bring back the magnet and the superconductor. Now, it's important to know that all magnets create magnetic fields, going from their north poles to their south poles. As the magnet moves, its magnetic field moves too, and eventually engulfs the superconductor. This magnetic -y attack, known as flux, instantly sparks a counteroffensive, called current, which in turn generates a mirror magnetic field to oppose the attack. The opposing fields now passing through the superconductor cancel each other out, and the superconductor is left there to float in the air. And, since we know the superconductor's current will keep on going forever, the magnetic field will be there forever, so they'll always cancel each other out, and the superconductor will levitate forever. Quantum levitation has so much potential for the future. Maglev trains, or magnetic levitation trains, have already started emerging in Japan and Germany, and have reached top speeds due to the absence of friction and levitation. If we discover a superconductor that could function at room temperature, we won't have to put any money into cooling down the superconductors, and maglev transportation would become more common than ever. So, how can it work for humans? We're not magnets. Well, technically we're not, but water is diamagnetic, meaning it could act as a superconductor if there was a strong enough magnetic field. We're talking really strong, like really, really, really strong. And, since humans have a high water content, theoretically, we can levitate as well.